What's up guys, before you do anything, pause that video, click that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and make sure you stay up to date with all the videos. If you haven't seen the last video, be sure to check that link down below and make sure you check it out. What's up guys, another day here at Copart Carnage Walk Around. We've got ATVs and all four wheelers still, but this is not why we're here today. That Polaris, we actually did some research on that. They want 16K buy now for this thing. I believe it is a clean title, but yeah, we're not here to check that out. We're actually looking at a couple of cars that we've seen online. Whoa, look at this vet. Oh man, this C7 is a wrap. Oh my God, this is so heartbreaking. Like this thing, oh man. Yeah, this is a wrap wrap. <laughs> Damn, they must have flipped that joint, boy. That's crazy. Damn. Yeah, but we're back here uh, doing a little walk around, showing you guys what they have, new cars in stock, so let's check it out. This is a really clean uh, GMC Sierra. I think it's a rental. It only has 1,700 miles. I don't know why it's here, but well, I guess we have to check that out. But if you walk around it, it's nothing wrong with the car. Look, maybe they just got it from CarMax or something. But this is a pretty decent ride right here. Pretty decent ride, man. Let's see this little Volkswagen back here. So we're actually trying to buy something today, guys, or, or tomorrow, rather. So um, we're not just looking. I know you, uh, you trolls are in the comments like, are you ever going to buy something? Are you? Like, bro, I just bought an Altima Relax. So if you guys remember correctly, last week I posted this car right here and they only want $400 for this car. This car is a clean title. Um, I forgot, I think they said it has some mechanical issue or something, but dude, they only want $400 for this thing. Let's see. Oh, uh, it doesn't even, the battery's totally dead in here smoking papers and stuff they only want four hundred dollars for this car i have to see exactly what's uh wrong with this car again but it looks pretty clean in here for 400 bucks by now i don't know if it's run or drive or not i have to check that out for you guys but for 400 bucks dude you can't beat it i might have to make a move on this 153,000 miles i know I believe I've seen this one on buy now as well. Um, I think they want like a couple grand or something like that. Bird had a freaking squat storm around his joint. Get a nice pressure washer. And you're good to go, boy. Yeah, this one's might this one might have been uh, sitting under a tree for a while. Pretty decent east inside, I guess you can say dusty though uh, I thought that was the SS they have a few cars still here from last week so I won't go over those but this thing right here is something that I didn't see last week it's a pretty nice little Chrysler I think it's like a 200 or something it has 119,000 miles pretty decent inside Smells like it might have a little bit of water damage or something like that. I'm not sure. Flood damage, rather. But this truck is still here, guys, with the three wheels in it. Still here. You can come check it out. Come grab it. It's the King Ranch. Remember, I did that. If you want to check this one out, go check out my last video because I checked out the inside and stuff already. They still have this green 300C up here. Look at this little Quattro. I think this thing might go for pretty cheap too. Has 157,000 miles. Wow, look at that seat. That, is, that seat's had it, right? It's a six speed manual TT. I don't think, I don't know if that stands for the twin turbo or what. I doubt it. Pretty fair car though. They didn't have this Beamer here last week. This uh, looks like the M5. Oh wow, it is an M5. Oh yeah, this thing is sick. I wanna check this one out. 
see what this looks like online. Oh yeah. Inside is super dirty. This is a stick shift too. A stick shift M5, that's pretty neat. Airbags is blown. You're gonna need a whole new uh, roof liner. Yeah, this one. This one's gonna need some work. But if you're willing to do the airbags and stuff, it's a pretty decent car, but it's dusty as heck up in here. Pretty nice M5 though, if you ask me. I would grab it for the project because, I mean, it's not really any bad body damage. It's more so just airbags, if you ask me. And then I believe, oh, I thought this was a wrap because this hood just looks like so weird. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know if you can open it or not. But man, I think it's nice. This Z71 right here looks pretty fair. Now, yesterday my buddy, I went over, I stopped by my buddy's house. He actually has one of these and he only wants 1400 for his. He only wants 1400 for his truck. But um, it's gonna need tags and it's gonna need, gonna need a little uh, dent pulled out. But this one does have the third row does have the third row in here that's pretty deep 200,000 miles though but if you can get it for a pretty decent price I think we'll be a decent buy look at this IS dude this thing is probably one of the cleanest looking cars here nice little IS 143,000 miles the inside looks really good it's nothing wrong with this thing why is it here check it out 143,000 miles. IS 350 at that. Wow. This truck, uh, that van took a really good beating. But dang, this Volvo is pretty nice. But hang on, let's check this out. Let's see how bad this damage is. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to pull that up. So on and so forth. This Mazda is cool. Oh, yeah, that's not bad at all. Oh, damn. Oh man. Yeah, that's uh it's not gonna cut it. See and I thought this trailblazer was an SS, but it's not. That's what I'm really looking for. But uh this Elantra looks pretty decent, but that one side is just too jacked up. This Volvo right here has 16k miles. Pretty decent all around. The inside, oh the airbags is out. Why is the airbags out? So let's let's check that side again. Let's see. Oh, I didn't even see this. Wow. Then they cut the whole door out trying to just just cut it for what? I don't understand why they cut the whole door out like that and then just end up not fixing it. I mean, of course the insurance companies are probably not going to pay it, but it's like, dude, if you knew they weren't going to pay it, why do it? Pretty cool Honda. 265 on the dash pretty cool inside pretty fair it's pretty decent what the back look like okay no brakes in the back no brakes in the front this might be a decent little car it's all around you have no uh no body work that needs to be done okay Pop the hood. Oh yeah, VTEC Sulev. That's a decent one. Okay, this BMW 328i that we seen last time with the bio needles and stuff is still here. Oh yeah, I just seen this one. I think this one is a buy now for like two, like two thousand now. The frame, the frame looks like it's okay on here. I don't know if we can. Okay, we can lift the hood. Oh, boom! That looks pretty good. So it really doesn't look that bad, honestly. You can probably like, I don't know. I don't know, you have to take that fender off and really see what's uh, what's damaged back there. But it doesn't look bad though. Yeah, it's a lot of newer cars uh, this week compared to last week. But it's a lot more like, you know, somebody came and tried to get cracking on this Range Rover. 
I remember this from last week. We have this really nice Ford Fusion here. Thing has no body damage. And it just looks pretty good. So let's check out the inside. It is sold by AAA. It has 57,000 miles on the dash. The inside looks pretty intact. Looks pretty fair in this thing, dude. I'm gonna check this out, maybe bid on it in the next couple days or so. I'll, I'll get this. Yeah, I'm gonna check that one out when we get back to the house. Maybe I might be, be able to bid on that. This little Elantra seems like it could be an easy fix too. Throw the bumper back on there. Good, if we'll get a new bumper, throw that on there. You'll be good, 96,000 miles. No airbags blown. Yeah, and this one smells, oh, it's an accent. Okay, this is a pretty decent car. We'll check that out when we get back to the house too. That's a pretty decent car. Don't really want the truck. I wish I can go to Colorado Springs and check out some of the cars, man, because I really want to bid on something today out there, but I'm tired of spending so much in like shipping fees, so I'm like trying to find something. They got a cool little Ram truck. How many miles has it got? 130 on the dash. Um, body's pretty fair. Nothing too crazy, just a little, little something, something down there. 130 on the dash. Oh, pretty decent on the inside. Think the keys start this joint. Oh, and it started right up. You got a little quick. Let's turn it off. I don't want to ruin it for the next person, but you hear a little click there, but it started right up, guys. This thing would be a pretty decent truck if you can find it at the right price. Okay, I literally just walked down here, and I did not see this. But damn. Look at this. That thing looks so beasty. Oh, my God. Look at these wheels. Now, if I can just get all this stuff and throw it on my girl's car, dog. Ooh, look at the red interior, though. Oh, my God. This thing is nice. Look at the seat belts. Like, if you see the detail on this thing, look at the seat belts. Seat belts are stuck. But, dude, this thing is freaking beast. This is really nice. I've never been inside an M3 before or like an M series period, honestly. But this thing is really nice. I wouldn't mind getting one of these. Look at the seats, how they go all the way through. That's really nice. Got the nice M Sport wheels on there. Carbon fiber wing. Got a little tequila kick in the back. Nothing too major though. I swear I would get this thing though. This thing is so nice. Oh man, this makes me want to look at the carbon fiber little side mirrors. It took a good whack right here. It took a good whack, but that's the rebar. Um, the frame might be kinked a little bit, maybe not much. But dude, this thing is the joint. Look, just look at how nice it looks. Like, oh. Yeah, I need to check that out, bro. This thing looks so hard. It got all the options. It got the carbon fiber, little side skirts. Oh my God. And it's getting sold by Progressive. Carbon fiber full hood. Man, let's just check out this red interior before we dip. This thing looks so nice. Seats coming up, nothing too big of a deal. Man, look at that dash. Yeah, guys, that's really nice. I really like that car. So you guys know how everybody likes winning cheap foreign cars. This will be something I wouldn't mind winning. If you look in the inside before we get to the front, it's the new steering wheel. Looks pretty good on the inside. No airbags or nothing like that is out. You see the rebar is still intact. Nothing messed up or nothing with the rebar. It's, it's really just the hood. None of the frame in the front is like damaged. 
this thing is really nice it has 88,000 miles pretty decent I'm sure it starts right up and start this joint okay check cooling level it's running pretty decent I don't want to run it too long but you just see like it runs good it sounds good at least that's an easy fix though up front if you can find it i'm sure you they'll let this go for a decent price or something so this was looking like a good bend from the back but as you see they didn't tore the freaking hinges off the wheel nothing nothing that can't be fixed but yeah, it's nothing that can't be fixed, but the frame does need to be pulled out a little bit. Front is, the front is really good. Nothing wrong with the front there. It should be good there. Inside looks really good in the front seat. Front seats look great. Now, when you get to that side, you need a curtain. But man, this thing is really nice. See, I never really seen these new Benzes like this. I wouldn't mind getting my girl one of these. Might have to upgrade her to this GLA. Because that is really nice on the inside. It looks really modern. Looks newer than the BMW, I can say that much. And it looks a little bit sleeker. Check out this Buick LaCrosse. Doesn't have any body damage except for uh, need some, uh, maybe a little grill down there get that thing fixed or just get a whole new complete front bumper but if you look around it it's good and if you take a look at the inside boy it just looks so beasty like this leather is just like some really high quality leather for a buick like you know buick always had that like comfy squishy leather pretty decent car if it goes for a good price i wouldn't mind bidding on it and it's another Altima here this one I think has a rebuilt title inside looks regular like an Altima but it's not oh never mind and this one's gonna need a little bit of work to get it running right if you see this Lincoln here never seen this Lincoln before Oh, it's a Lincoln Continental. What kind of door handles is these? Wow, look at these door handles, guys. It's like, that's way different. I've never seen that before. That's like really cool. It's different. These are some different door handles. Like, it's like on the window line and I've never seen that before. And look at these seats. They look like some, why do all Lincoln smell like smoke? Look at these seats. That seat is different. Them some cool little seats. They might be comfortable. Look like they massage or something. Oh yeah, they got the massager and everything in this. This the big boy daddy, huh? Cool color though. But I don't know. Maybe not for me. Yeah, this thing went through it. It's no reviving this. You can keep rolling. The Jeep is still here? What the heck? all right guys that's going to be a wrap for today's video be sure to subscribe like and comment on the video more of these will be coming out every week here and stay tuned for the new build we're trying to figure out exactly what we want to get but a new build is coming here in the next couple days as for the ultimate we will be getting that video out here soon that might be out before this one so if it is just screw this keep going but yeah guys thanks for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe don't skip those ads it helps me out a lot thanks guys appreciate it and peace